Hello everyone, so lovely to see you. It's Amy here from the Wakelet team. Um, thank you all so much for joining us. Um, we're in for another wonderful session, connecting your entire school community with Wakelet. Um, but firstly, I just wanna say a few hellos. We've got lots of people joining from all over. Um, we've got Shamal there from um, Iraq, um, Winnie Yong from Malaysia, Alifia, hello from India. Um, so, so many of you joining us, um, which we love to see. We love doing these webinars just to get you up, be able to see um, all of you wonderful people out there. Um, but yeah, this is a really special one. We're joined by um, two of our wonderful ambassadors. Um, but before I intro them in, just to let you guys know um, that the recording of this will go live straight away. So uh, well, we're live now and then it will be available straight away on um, YouTube. So same link and you can um, grab that link if you want to look back on anything. Um, also, any resources and things, we'll make sure we pop them in the in the comments so you can follow those along as well. And certificates. So we will share out um, a form for you to complete um, in the chat towards the end of the session. So um, keep an eye out for that. We'll share it out a few times just so you've got it. Um, and if you complete that, um, we'll be able to send you a certificate of attendance for the webinar. Um, so brilliant. I will get us started, but it's so lovely to see you all. Um, but I know there's a couple here who would love to jump on and say hello as well. Wow. So there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like jumped on and jumped back off again. But hello, Mariah. Hi. So Hi. lovely to see you, Katrina. Um, we'll do some intros if that's OK. Um, we'll go around. Mariah, please let everyone know who you are. Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Mariah Rackley. Um, I'm a principal in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm just outside Hershey, if you're familiar with the area. Um, so Hershey's Chocolate is about 10 miles down the road from where I am now. I know, it's very exciting, right, Amy? Yeah. Like it's, uh, yeah. Super exciting. <laughs> so um, so I'm thrilled to be here with you. Um, I've been a Wakelet ambassador since the first wave of Wakelet ambassadors, um, and I've had a really awesome relationship with the Wakelet team, and I'm so excited to tell you about the great things we do with Wakelet here at our school. So hi, my name is Katrina Fasella, and I'm an elementary media specialist here uh, down in sunny South Florida, um, and I work with students in grades K through eight. Um, and I'm also a Wakelet ambassador, and I just love sharing it uh, with my students, with my colleagues. And this is my first time presenting with Wakelet, so I'm super excited. And hopefully I can share how you can use it in your library or in your school as well. Yeah, I'm so excited to get started. Um, I know you both have so many amazing ways that you're using Wakelet within your school. Um, and I know the community is so um, excited to, to hear and see all about that as well. So um, without further ado, I'm going to pass over to Katrina um, and you can take the stage. Um, but guys, if you have any questions as we're going through and things like that or comments, please keep them coming. Um, we'll be in the comment box and things like that. So any questions you have, um, pop them in there. But Katrina, over to you. All righty. So I have um, a PowerPoint uh, coming up here, and it's just going to be kind of guiding you through how I use Wakelet. I'm going to first start talking about how I use it with students, and then I'm going to talk about how I use it with my colleagues. Uh, and it's just going to be talking about enhancing communication uh, with both. Now, before I get started, I kind of want to give you some background as to uh, my student population and how many minutes I have. So I have about 700 students in our school that I see uh, on a weekly basis. And in those classes, I only see the students for 30 minutes. So I have a lot of information to push out to students and not a lot of time to do it in. So what I love is um, that I can curate resources. And that's kind of what I'm going to walk you through of how I use Wakelet to get all that information across in an organized uh, manner. So I've broken it down when I use Wakelet with students into curation, collaboration, motivation, and organization. Um, and as a library media specialist, I teach students, well, first and foremost, I'm a book pusher. <laughs> That's my favorite part, right? But I also teach students uh, strategies for locating, assessing, and evaluating information. And the way that I do that is through a series of research projects. So I do research projects, and you're going to see it on the next slide, throughout the entire school year. Um, and I use Wakelet to help push out those research projects. So let's begin with curation. Um, here you're going to see um, 
I do a Hispanic Heritage Month project. I do, um, we did Shark Week. I have a Black History Month project. And um, what I do is I add how the students are going to get to those resources. So here we have Epic, Discovery, the Broward County Library, some additional resources. Instead of just putting all this information everywhere, I organize it on a wakelet so that students are able to see it really nicely. Uh, last year when we were remote, we used Teams. So this wakelet is actually embedded within Teams. It's really simple to add it to Teams. Um, and it just looks so great where I can give my students all the websites that I want them to use. And it's in one place. They don't have to go anywhere else. Now what I'm going to show you um, is Canvas. That is our learning management system. So I have embedded these two wakelets within Canvas for Hispanic Heritage Month. This first wakelet shows students where they're going to get their research from. And uh, this time I chose to embed it like in that box format. And then the next wakelet is going to show how the students um, are going to turn in the project. So instead of just typing up in Canvas, this is how you're going to turn in the project. I've created a wakelet on how they're going to turn it in. They can create a Flipgrid for me. They can create a Bunsy. My students love Minecraft education. And I've given them the directions organized there nicely um, in a wakelet. Another way that I share my wakelets are through Clever. So we have Clever dashboards and right here you're going to see all I did was I took the link, I added it to my Clever dashboard um, and I shared out all the information that I had on Asian American Pacific Islander Month. I dropped in some YouTubes, I dropped in some picture books that I want the students to take a look at and you know what I love is that students don't have to go to YouTube. They simply can see those YouTube videos right there within a wakelet. And it really allows that organization piece to happen so that students don't have to be clicking tabs and going and coming out. It's all right there for them. Another way that I use Wakelet to communicate with students is through uh, collaboration. So this is really fun this past school year. Uh, I read the story to my students called Nerdy Birdie Tweets, uh, which helps students understand digital citizenship. And um, it's by Aaron Reynolds. So I thought to myself, OK, we were all digital. Um, you know, students were online. And I thought to myself, how am I going to have all students communicate their findings with me or what they took from the story without letting everybody unmute in Teams. So I said, you know what? Let's try that collaboration piece in Wakelet. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I created a Wakelet and I'm gonna show you again. At the beginning of the Wakelet, I recorded myself reading the book in case the students needed it again. I gave them the directions and then all I did was hit that share link and students were able to collaborate and either type. I gave them the option that they could type in their answers or record a Flipgrid, those that wanted to record. And you can see right here that I think about four students recorded on this particular wakelet. Um, and that's how everybody was able to communicate what they understood in the story. Um, and then in this upper uh, left hand corner right here, you can see that all I had to do was copy that wakelet and I was ready for my next class. So I took that original template, I changed the teacher's name and I had all those wakelets. All I had to do was share the link and I was able to get student responses. Um, my next point is motivation. So here in Florida, uh, we have a reading motivation program called SSYRA, and it stands for Sunshine State Young Reader Award Books. So what we do is we promote those books, right? It's a set of books that are the best of the best in Florida for that particular school year. And as a media specialist, we want those students to get a hand, um, their hands on those books, to read the books. And so what I do is I use Wakelet to promote those books, to motivate students to read them. So as you can see over the years, I've created a Wakelet that contains book trailers so that students can go on, see the books that are on that list for that particular school year, watch the book trailer, get motivated, get excited to read. Um, and then I embed that wakelet 
everywhere I can, right? So I drop it in my Clever page. I drop it in Canvas. I push it out through a newsletter. Um, I really uh, promote those books. This one right here uh, is called the Level Up Summer Challenge. That was a partnership between Beanstack and our county library. And what they did was this summer they wanted students to read um, and they were giving away prizes um, and doing raffles and drawings. So I created a wakelet to, you know, motivate students to please read over the summer, log those books and get excited. In that wakelet, I had images of um, the prizes that they can win, where they have to log the books and get students out to uh, the Broward, the, the county library. And last but not least, um, organization. So everything that I talked about before organizes things for students in a particular way. But these are a, um, a couple more that I've used this past school year. So students were only using eBooks. So I made a wakelet on how they can get eBooks. Um, summer reading, I put a book list there or where they can find um, books that they can get over the summer. Virtual field trips, uh, digital citizenship. I've put that together for students, also for parents and for or educators. Um, but one of my favorites, I don't know uh, if your students are into this, my students are obsessed with a uh, Minecraft Education Edition. So they ask me to play Minecraft Education all the time. Um, and so what I've done right here in this wakelet is from the Minecraft website, I've added some links where they can go in, download a particular world that I want them to use, and then they can explore in that world, um, play in that world, create. Um, but then I took it one step further. So students started to create in Minecraft, and then they wanted to share their Minecraft world with, with others. So I thought to myself, how am I going to, you know, take these students' Minecraft worlds and let them, you know, share their world with somebody else? Um, am I going to put it in a folder? Like, how, how am I going to do this? Wakelet was my answer. So what I did was I took the students' worlds and I uploaded them to my OneDrive because that's an option as an add-on. And I put their worlds in a particular wakelet right here on the left and students were able to go in. They're not going to destroy their world. They're just going to see the world that their friends have created and they get to share what they know. So these were, you know, just a couple of ways that I use um, wakelet with my students to communicate. Again, I only have 30 minutes with them. I have so much I want to do with them, so much I want to share with them. And wakelet has definitely given me the power to do so. Uh, so now I'm going to transition into how I use Wakelet with my colleagues. So I use Wakelet um, through professional development, newsletters, and showcase. So as I go through, I'll kind of, you know, explain more. So, so you get a little understanding of what I do as well. I'm the media specialist. But last summer, um, as we were moving to complete remote learning at the beginning of the school year, uh, myself and some other teachers were part of a tech team. So as the tech team, we kind of did this train the trainer model um, where you know, a couple of us went to trainings and then we were to come back and train the rest of the school. So in this professional development um, wakelet that I'm going to show you, that's what you're going to see, um, that we added a whole bunch of resources. As we go through, um, you're going to see different people that have added. So like I shared with the students, I did the same thing, created this wakelet, shared it with my colleagues, and we were able to all drop in um, all the resources that we were pushing out for professional development. It makes it really organized. Um, teachers don't have to be like, oh, what was that website you used? Remember in the training you were showing me this? No, it is all there. And they received this wakelet right after the training. 
something else that I loved is I taught about um, Microsoft and I made it in a Buncee. So right here, that exact Buncee, I dropped it in the Wakelet and it's live. So all those hyperlinks are now also, um, you know, there for the teachers to use. After we were done sharing this Wakelet with all the staff, then we housed it in our Canvas. So as a school, we have a Canvas page so that teachers were not like, oh, where's that link that you shared? Nope, here it is in our Canvas page. We made a page for it and I embedded the Wakelet perfectly, not distorted, nothing, exactly how it looked there. They have it there um, all the time to refer back to. Um, so another way that I use uh, Wakelet with uh, my staff members is through newsletters. So I'm sure that as media specialists, even as, you know, educators, we love to make newsletters to communicate everything that we're doing um, and everything that's happening in the library. So let me actually go back again. So I used to do newsletters uh, through PowerPoint but they weren't as interactive. Um, I didn't have, you know, a place where I can just add a plethora of information, websites, other wakelets. Uh, so I kind of moved away from making my newsletter on PowerPoint. And I said, why don't I just make my newsletter on Wakelet so I can add all the apps that I want to. Um, so what you're going to see here is my um, newsletter that I push out to colleagues, to parents, to students. And you can see that here we go. We have those other Wakelets that I have embedded within that Wakelet to just let everybody know what we're doing in the media center. Um, I do a lot of how to's and this how to was done in Flipgrid and there it is right live on the screen um, for digital citizenship. I added images. I like to promote what we're doing in the library uh, through Twitter and Twitter um, adds really nicely there in Wakelet so you can see the tweets that I had and then I end it with um, a help desk. So that help desk will go to another Wakelet. Um, as a school, we share a Sway. So this is Sway right now. And each department, they have their own piece in the Sway. And so what I've done, because uh, the Sway, we then send it to parents and stakeholders. In the Sway, I have embedded my newsletter. So I talk about what we're doing in the media center. And then that same exact uh, wakelet, I add it right there in Sway. And it looks just so great. Um, and one last way that I share my newsletter is um, through a lib guide. So as a media specialist, we have like our website um, and right there on the website, I have embedded <laughs> my Wakelet again. Um, and what I love is that if I need, so I have my Wakelet in all these places, my newsletter, and if I have to make any changes, I make them right on the Wakelet and then it changes in all these different areas that I have. So if you're not making your newsletters in Wakelet, I would definitely, definitely encourage it. It's a great way not only to communicate with colleagues, uh, but with stakeholders, with parents, and let them know, promote what you're doing in the media center. Um, one last thing is um, when you embed the Wakelet, maybe some of you know, you can set a fixed height. So right there on my website, I set it so that they didn't have to scroll all the way down and it looks really, really professional. And last but not least um, is to showcase. So what I mean by showcase is showcase yourself as a media specialist or an educator and share what you do every day. My school is a Microsoft showcase school. So in order to do that, we have to um, apply. We have to be Microsoft Innovative Educator Experts. So right here, what I'm showcasing is that all my colleagues used Wakelet to showcase themselves and how they use Microsoft products. And they all did it in a different way, but using Wakelet. So some did student work. As you can see here, how they use Microsoft products uh, with student work. Others, they showed how they um, do tweet meets and they put their tweet meets right there on a Wakelet. We all used Wakelet, but just in a different way uh, to showcase what we do. And that's that's pretty much a wrap for me. Um, I really want to say thank you.
Um, and if you want to connect, if you have any questions, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at the same handle, Miss Facella. Um, hopefully something that, you know, I shared with you today, you can say, oh, I could definitely use that for this upcoming school year. Uh, so thank you for your time. Amy, I am handing it back to you. <laughs> thank you so much, Katrina. So many amazing ideas shared there. Um, and, it, and it's so amazing to see you use Wakelet very much hand in hand with um, a lot of other tools, uh, whether that's with the integrations, adding Buncee, adding Twitter um, into your collections, you know, meaning that, you know, you can use it, you know, and showcase so many different resources from so many different places, um, which is what Wakelet does. But yeah. I love how you highlighted that, um, you can then embed that into so many different platforms as well. Those that you're already using, Canvas, Teams, you were saying about as well, um, even Sway and things like that, you can very much, um, you know, get that communication out by using Wakelet, but hosting that on, on lots of different sites as well. And it works hand in hand. So many nice ideas. And there's a lot of love for Minecraft out there as well. <laughs> um, the chat um, loved when you were showcasing that because it's such a nice way for, for students to get that creative side out, but then having that um, on Wakelet for them to see each other's ideas. Um, and I thought even with the, the reactions and things like that, giving feedback, um, so, so many lovely ideas, and um, if you can see the chat, or well, if you have a little look, look, I don't after, want to look. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can have a little look after. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so many, um, so many inspired um, to share people that you know use it so versatilely as well. Um, yeah, which is great. Thank you so much. Honestly. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. With lots of amazing ideas. Um, so thank you so much. Um, but we're going to bring um, Mariah on, if that's okay. And we'll um, jump back in just a second. But Mariah, hello. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Good, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pass the floor over to you, if that's okay. Um, awesome. And now everyone's ready for even more ideas. And I know um, they're so excited to see what you have to share as well. So yeah, over to you, Maya. Awesome. Thanks so much, Amy. Um, first, just a huge shout out to Wakelet for inviting me to participate. I love um, sharing how we use Wakelet in our school. It's such a wonderful platform and it's so versatile and there's so many things you can do with it. Um, Katrina is a super hard act to follow, um, but um, hopefully you'll hear some things that are a little bit different maybe um, in, in my few minutes that I'm going to share with you. Um, but Katrina and I seem to use Wakelet um, very similarly, um, which is a really cool thing to see um, in different ways we can use this. So, um, so let me tell you a little bit about our school. We use Wakelet a lot to tell our story. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about how I came to know Wakelet. Like I actually found Wakelet when I was looking for um, a curation site and we were really focusing that year on how to tell our story. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, I'm the principal of a very large middle school. Um, we have about 1,200 students um, and an amazing community. And so we love telling our story. And we tell our story on different social media platforms. And one of the things we kept hearing from our families over and over was, well, I love that you're doing this, but I don't have an account on Twitter, or I only have Instagram, or I don't have Facebook, or I do have Facebook. And we were trying to find a way to pull everything together. So we found Wakelet as a really great way to start telling our story so that everyone could, could hear our story. Um, and they were hearing our story from us the way we wanted it told. Um, and we only had to send them to one platform and that became Wakelet. Um, so our story is a really fun story, I think. Um, we have a great school and we've really spent a lot of time talking about um, how we build connections with our students and our families and how we connect to our community. And so um, we challenge ourselves to um, be different and, and we focus a lot on what our why is and our why always comes back, of course, to our students and the amazing group of young people that we have um, the privilege of, of spending every day with and during our school year. And so we're really fortunate to do that. And so um, through social media, we really wanted to focus on the great things our students were doing because our students and our staff here were doing just incredible things. And they were um, really showing, um, you heard Katrina talk about showcasing, they were really showcasing their work and their lessons and their achievements and just amazing activities that were happening, community service, community outreach, um, just some of those really important life lessons that you can't always capture in traditional school. And so we really wanted to talk about how we could show that to others. Um, and so we started to talk about what is our message that we want to send and how are we going to send that message consistently. And so 
we started using Wakelet as a way that we were able to push our messaging out and share that messaging with all of our families. And like I said, it gave them this really cool one-stop shop um, for us to get through and to talk about. Um, and we wanted to tell our story because we know that the narrative is not always what um, schools want it to be if it doesn't come from the school. And so we were really focused on talking about our school and the great things that were happening in our school and and the fact that we at our school were the experts and Wakelet gave us like a common language. It gave us a common place to start sharing that information. And so if we had staff members who were really comfortable on Twitter, but not comfortable on Instagram or really comfortable on Facebook, but not comfortable on Twitter, it gave us a place where we were able to just start bringing all of our voices together um, and sharing with our stakeholders um, because we wanted them to know who we were. And so um, one day I was talking to Mizba at Wakelet and um, we were having kind of this casual conversation and I was running these ideas past him. And as we started chatting, um, I decided that I was going to create a Wakelet for our school. So it's, it's I have a Wakelet, um, but now our school has one too. And it was a really neat idea because if you think about, um, again, that one-stop shop idea, like how could we get our students and our staff and our families and everybody to know who we were and what we are about. And so we um, were able to take all of our many stories from almost 100 staff members and 1,200 students and really compile them into one place. Um, and so this school wakelet page became um, a really nice go-to place for everybody. Um, I was able to share our hashtags. I was able to share um, kind of who we were and what we were about. and through many, many collections, we were able to put things, um, and Katrina talked about this too, we were able to create things, but do it in a way that was editable and just such easy access for everybody. So um, we have our handbook, we have information from our district website, we have our school board and our food services, we have our learning center, our media center, we have um, our guidance staff. Everyone has their own collection here. Um, you can see them listed on the left of this slide. Um, and so they're able to um, they're able to see a little piece of everything we do here all in one spot. Um, we were able to put up pictures of all of our staff members and all of our teams so that students knew when they saw Team Blast or Blue Aggies or Team Mariner pop up on their schedule, they would know which teachers were associated with that team. Um, all of our need to know information kind of all fell in the same place. We we're able to put food service in here and information from our nurse, which was very, very important. We all know for the last 18 months or so. And then we have a parent section. How do you get involved? How do you participate as a middle school parent in our school? Um, because there's a difference between middle school parents and high school parents. And, and, you know, we live in that really awesome place called middle school. And so in that middle school world, how, how can parents still be involved in their students' education? And so Wakelet became a great place for us as a school. But I think my favorite part of Wakelet has to be the collaborative piece. Um, and again, I've, I've, I guess, been around long enough now that I was able to be part of um, part of that pilot when they started talking about this opportunity to collaborate and how they were, they had these great visions for what collaboration could look like. And you saw Katrina show you examples um, of all the amazing ways that you can collaborate on Wakelet. Um, so I, I wanted to show highlight one of our teachers here, Mr. Rohrbach. He is a sixth grade reading teacher. He started as a social studies teacher. So my examples are actually from a social studies class. Um, but he was able to um, he was part of that very beginning pilot group where we talking, started talking about how to collaborate on Wakelet. And it has become one of the most powerful tools, I think, out there for students um, to, to collaborate with each other. So not only during the last 18 months, we've, you know, we've learned a lot about uh, student engagement and we've learned a lot about how we need to connect with our students. But we found that Wakelet was a great place to jump in and engage our learners because they were able to collaborate with each other. They were able to talk to each other. And as all of these new integrations have been shared with Microsoft Teams and Flipgrid and OneDrive, um, we've been able to integrate those as well and use those. And it makes the seamless transition for teachers, educators, principals who are trying to connect with their students or their parents or 
each other. And it's given us this great place to connect and collaborate with each other. Um, so I use, um, just like Katrina said, I use Wakelet in uh, professional learning opportunities. So this is a snapshot of um, a Wakelet that we created at a conference that I was speaking at. And I had asked the participants to come in and start sharing ways that we were talking about telling our story. And so we had asked them to come in and share ways that they were able to tell the stories of their own organizations or schools or higher, higher ed institutions, whatever the case may be. And so we started collaborating and it created this really nice resource for all of us so that not only we could connect and network professionally, but it also gave them the opportunity to see how Wakelet worked and how, um, how easy it was to collaborate and share links, documents, um, PowerPoints, Flipgrid, videos, whatever it was. It gave us this really nice experience um, and it gave us this wonderful place. Um, in our school district, we have something called um, the Falcon Flex model, which is um, an agency-based professional opportunity for professionals to choose their professional learning opportunities. And one of the things that I have used Wakelet for there is I've used it not only to build examples for staff members, but I've also used it to give them a place to, again, collaborate and share and communicate with each other because I think it's such a powerful tool. It's so intuitive. It's very easy to use. And I think our folks have found that they not only enjoy having it as part of their professional learning, but they also then turn around and have practiced using it with their students which is just a wonderful, wonderful tool for them. Um, and uh, so my next example comes from um, a now middle school teacher, but a huge shout out to Mrs. Reed because she was also um, my son's teacher um, in second grade during the middle of the pandemic when we were closed. And so um, she was using Wakelet from her home to share with um, her students who were not with her face to face. So she was doing her remote teaching and she was using Wakelet. So every day when my son logged in, there was a new video from his teacher where he got to see her face and, and interact with her. And then she had all of the content posted that they were to do or create um, for the day. And it was awesome. It was so easy to know where to go, where to look. We didn't have to run all over the place. Um, she had Wakelet links embedded in her Schoology account, which is our learning management system. Um, and from so my kiddos would log into Clever from Clever to Schoology and from Schoology right to Wakelet. Um, and it gave them the opportunity to have that easy connection with their teachers. And it gave the teachers um, ways that they were able to provide multiple activities and multiple lessons um, for the students. One of the things that I feel really, really strongly about is I, I feel very strongly about student agency and the opportunity for students to take ownership of their learning. I think it's one of the most important things we do as educators um, is to teach students how to advocate for themselves and how to take that ownership. And Wakelet is a beautiful space for people to do that. It's a beautiful space for students to be able to not only have ownership and have a voice in their learning, but it also provides a lovely space for teachers to create activities, create expectations, create learning environments for students that gives them a lot of choice and a lot of opportunity um, to connect with their students and allow their students to explore um, different areas of their content. This is another example from uh, Mr. Rohrbach. Um, this is where, um, again, this was when we were at home um, but it did give him a space to provide instructions for his students. Um, and so he used this um, to give his students direction. Um, another example of how you could use Wakelet um, that comes back to the agency piece is this allows you to provide um, examples or opportunities for students. So for example, um, I saw a Wakelet um, this year that said um, you must pick four of the 10 activities. And so students could pick any of the activities that were listed. Teacher provided um, examples and opportunities, and then the students were able to just go in and self-select the ones they chose to do. And then they provided their feedback in the Wakelet collection as well. And then definitely um, an important piece of Wakelet and how I really came to be familiar with Wakelet was the ability to curate. 
Um, and I think it's just so important. And if you've never curated content before, uh, it's so easy on Wakelet. It's in, like I, I've used the word intuitive before, but I can't even explain how important it is um, that it's an easy ad. It's an easy way to connect not only with your content, but to be able to curate what it is you want to look for. So I, I wanted to give you some examples. So I curate social media content for our school. So um, some of these are older ones, but I wanted to pull kind of a, a snapshot of what we do. So at the end of the week, I'll go into our social media accounts. I'll use Instagram, I'll use Twitter, um, and we pull it all together into one, um, one curated collection for our students and families so that they can see something in case they miss something, um, in case there was just a lot going on that week or they wanted to see something or wanted to have a link to um, a memory that they had, um, we provide um, an opportunity for our social media to be curated into one collection. Now, sometimes these collections get rather large, and so I'll pull out special events. So sometimes we have special events that happen in our school, and I'm able to pull those out and separate them into their own experiences for our students so that um, it's easier to find what they're looking for. Um, but through this, you can see this is some of our professional learning sessions that we've done here. Um, but curating professional learning sessions for our staff so that they have it as a resource, so they can go back, so they can find it, so they can reference it. Um, because the whole the whole concept of, of the learning is learning and growing, and so we want to give them a place to go back and and reference that learning and move, continue moving forward in their path. So, you know, I think one of the questions that I've been asked before is, well, wh why would you choose Wakelet? Why would you choose Wakelet? I would choose Wakelet because everyone can benefit from Wakelet. Everyone, your students, your staff, your parents, your community, everyone benefits from this really lovely platform that provides you with the opportunity to connect, to um, learn and grow together, to collaborate and communicate. Um, I would even tell you that Wakelet is a place where you can share celebrations. Um, probably my favorite personal Wakelet uh, collection is one that my staff made um, when I earned my doctoral degree. And so they all put messages in a Wakelet account because they knew I how much I loved Wakelet. So they put all these wonderful little messages in a Wakelet account um, for me and a Wakelet collection uh, for me and sent it so that I would always have these lovely memories um, at a time when we weren't able to be together because of the pandemic, but it was a really beautiful collection. And so I think you can use Wakelet in so many different ways. You heard Katrina say how versatile it is. I second that. Um, there's just so many ways that it benefits everyone involved. And I think that there are very few platforms that you could probably say that about. Um, I just wanted to shout out some awesome, awesome people on Wakelet, some from our school, some Wakelet ambassadors. I just want to shout out folks whose collections I have enjoyed, who I've learned a lot from on Wakelet. Um, I think there's just really amazing Wakelet ambassadors out there doing incredible things that you would never, ever think of. Um, things you would never think of on Wakelet that would make your life so much easier, whether you are a classroom teacher or a media specialist or librarian or tech person, specials teacher school administrator. There are so many amazing examples out there, and I would highly encourage you to connect with some of these folks on Wakelet, on social media, find them because they are top notch and they're so good at what they do. Um, and if you want the opportunity to connect with me, I love connecting with folks. I love talking about Wakelet and I love sharing the amazing things that are happening at Cedar Crest Middle School. So you can find me on lots of different platforms. You can find me um, at Dr. Rackley CCMS on almost every platform. Um, but I'm always willing to share. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to chat with you and hear about the great things you're doing with Wakelet um, and share with you the wonderful things that happen at Cedar Crest Middle School. So again, special thanks to Amy and all of the Wakelet team. I'm so grateful uh, for the opportunity to be here to chat with you guys today. So Amy, I'm going to turn this back over to you. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Again, so many wonderful ideas um shared that and I, I just want to start really with the 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 idea of how it even came about for you you kind of had that 
reason. And it's so lovely to hear about you being so sort of proud of your school and, and what your students and your colleagues are doing and wanting to have a place to showcase that. Um, I think that's just a wonderful idea to start to start with and having that place to be able to showcase that. And we we talk about, you know, building portfolios on Waker and you've kind of created this amazing portfolio for not only your school as a whole, but each of those individual you know, colleagues so they can um, share what they've done in different departments and things like that. And as well as sort of showing the journey of your school, you've also created this really amazing sort of resource hub that you can share out to um, students' parents who, who, are, who are looking at what, what's going on in the school and things like that. So it's kind of acting like a website portfolio amazing <laughs> showcase of your school as a whole. Absolutely, and one of the reasons that um, I really love it is I have the flexibility to edit things, change things. So when something changes or something needs tweaked or revised, I, I just have access to go in and do it quickly in Wakelet, and then it goes out exactly the way I want it to to all of our to all of our stakeholders. And it's it's a great tool for that, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and you can keep sort of building on it, like you said. You can um, um, keep adding more collections. You can um, invite other. Um, I mean, a Samar actually in, in the chat, um, if you saw, um, but um, they're asking about um, how you could put something like that together. Um, was yours done with your own profile or did you set up another or is it space? Because there are lots of sort of ways that you could do that. And I was going to sort yep. of highlight that, but how did you do it yourself? Yeah, that's a great question. So I had my own Wakelet account that I was using already for the social media curation. And then what I ended up doing was I ended up actually creating a school account. So I run a, the school account um, through my through my school email um, and created the, the, the school's own profile so that the school has access um, to all of those. So, um, so I did set up um, our own account for the school, but it, it was great because one of the things that I don't think we talk about enough is the fact that we can, um, I think Wakelet is so easy to use because it's the user, the URLs are so user friendly. So wakelet.com backslash at CCMS, that is, that's who we are. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's very easy for families to find, um, you'll see my username is the same on all the platforms and it's the same on all the platforms because it's easy for people to find and remember. Um, so I think that's an important part too, is that when you find that username or that that um, um, that um, URL that you're using over and over again, it just becomes part of who you are and becomes part of your culture and part of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, which I actually love because we <laughs> we talk about kind of like the share link or the share code and things like that of when you're sharing that out, but but really it is as simple as having that um, URL as you would kind of access any other um, web page or anything like that and you have created almost like a website um, and all of those amazing resources all of those um, great collections which are useful not only to your own school community but um, those outside as well um, can be simply shared just with that one link and like you say it's recognizable then that's you know to go to that link um, it's easy to find um, and others can get loads of great ideas from it as well. So it's amazing. And even the individual collections that you put together, I love that you were documenting um, Twitter chats and events and things like that, because I love the Twitter integration. Um, I, I think it's great if you're someone who goes to conferences and things like that, but it's really nice to um, see it being used in that school environment as well, um, because um, we know that, you know, a lot of uh, districts and schools will have events um, and having a way to record those and allowing your students to then look back at those, um, something that they were a part of. It's almost kind of like a, a trip down memory lane for, for students and, and colleagues as well, which is really nice. Um, and again, you're, you're then curating the, the words of, of your colleagues who have shared things and, and those um, valuable resources. So, yeah, I love that as well. So many great thank ideas. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, we'll give it a few minutes and let people ask questions. Please, guys, if you have any questions, I'm going to um, bring Katrina back on as well. But any questions that you have, um, we use the rest of our time to, to answer anything you do have. So um, similar to Samar, if you have a question about any of the ideas that you've seen Katrina and Marius share here um, and not too sure of how, how you could possibly do something like that, um, or if you want any other tips and, and hints and things like that, um, 
hints and tips. That's the one <laughs> wrong way around there. Um, but yeah, please share. I know a lot of you are loving the ideas there. Um, but yeah, so so many great ones shared, and I know a lot of people will be wanting to to try those out. Um, you both mentioned something that I really love, and that's newsletters. I love seeing newsletters on Wakelet. I think they um, they're really impressive. One, <laughs> I always look at them and, and think uh, they're just um, something that really that really impresses me on, on Wakelet. But also, um, it's a great way of delivering that that information to your colleagues and around your school, um, but also your students and also your students' parents as well. Um, really bridges that kind of communication aspect between um, sort of parent and student there as well. Um, so I really, really love those as ideas. Um, but yeah, I'd love to, uh, to see. I would just more. throw out there too, Amy, that one thing that was really helpful last year was we were able to share infographics or um, last year with everything changing, all the time, every day. Um, it was so nice to have one place where I could just drop in new information or drop in something that was updated or something that was changed. And then you could just direct people to one place instead of um, instead of chasing them around in lots of mm -hmm. different places. Yeah, yeah, and that's um, that actually reminds me of a, a good thing you said, Katrina, about having your um, when you embed something into, say, Canvas or one of those um, platforms that you're using. Um, when you do update your Wakelet, and a lot of people um, may not be aware of this, and it is one of the questions we do tend to get. But when you do update it on your Wakelet, if you do that um, within your collection, it will update it all way around as well. And it's the same for things like newsletters. You can just keep adding to it um, and it kind of auto saves. You're not going to lose any of your previous um, and you can just very much build on it um, as you go along as well. Yeah, as you could see, I, I drop it everywhere I can. So if I really had to trace my steps and say, oh, wait, did I send it here? Did I send it there? And edit each place individually, uh, that wouldn't work. So it makes it really seamless um, and easy to use, super easy to use. Yeah, that, that would be a lot <laughs> to, go, to go around all of them. So I'm glad that makes it um, a lot easier for you to be able to, to update those in lots of different places. Um, but yeah, it's great. I mean, any other tips in terms of um, that you guys have for keeping that communication on Wakelet or, or using it in um, ways to kind of enhance that sort of like the parents, especially like communication between sort of students and student parents? Because I know it's a topic that um, we've spoken about on, on different webinars and things like that. Um, but is there anything other than newsletters that you, you guys tend to use? <laughs> oh this is for anyone this is for <laughs> <a> you <laughs> this is for in the chat um so any anything that you use to to enhance that kind of parent communication so I do use a newsletter, but I think I also had shown like my help center. Um, I like to, so parents do have access to students learning management system. Um, so parents are able to go in there and see what the students are learning. So I have a Canvas page where I have embedded all those wakelets for parents to then go back and see, oh, look, this is how you log this book in, or this is how I can check out this book from this particular website. So I just love that through Flipgrid, I can put those wakelets, you know, put all those Flipgrids in the wakelet, create a help center. And that help center is not only for students and teachers, but also for parents, you know, little tutorials that they can go through and, oh, okay, this is how we do this. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And I think one of the things that's been helpful for our families is that we're able to, um, upload documents. So we're able to upload our handbook. We're able to upload our student activity guide. We're able to upload daily schedules and other things to our wakelet that allow parents to have that easy access. So they're not, they don't have to hunt around on a website. They don't have to hope that their middle schooler brings it home and actually remembers to tell them. They're <laughs> able to just connect with everything right there. And so it's almost, um, I, I normally tell parents, it's almost like a cheat sheet, right? I, I call it a dinner table cheat sheet. Like you can talk about all of these things because they're all there right at your fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, like you said, having that ease of being able to share something out or whether it's on the LMS and giving them access with that as well. Um, it just makes it 10 times, you know, easier um, to, to sort of make that communication happen and make it easier for, I think, especially with, with Wakelet, that's, that's kind of why we wanted to make it user-friendly for anyone, because if you are using,
using that with students, if you're using that with um, student parents, you don't have to be um, super techy to be able to access it and get the information that you need as well, which is really important. Um, so yeah, I love that. I don't think there's any more questions coming through, but um, it's been absolutely fantastic speaking to you both. And um, thank you so much for you to, for you coming on and sharing all of your amazing ideas. Um, it's so wonderful to see all of the different ways that you're using Wakelet, um, and we absolutely love to see it. So, so thank you so much. Um, for those of you, um, we'll, we'll share out the link for the certificate and the recording of this. Um, it is live, so it will be the same link, so you can catch it again after. If you want to look back on any of these ideas or anything like that, um, we can take a little look back. Um, and yes, the form link's just been popped up on the screen there as well, but we'll share it a few more times in the comments. But for now, any um, final words from you both? Just thank you so much. <laughs> um, yes, you know, Mariah said it a lot. Thank you to Wakelet. Thank you for bringing us on. Mariah, I learned so much. Now my head is going, right? Like I need to start with my school. <laughs> so um, just thank you. This was a great opportunity. I really appreciate it. Um, and please, you know, those that have questions, reach out so we could all be using Wakelet uh, to enhance our communication with students, colleagues, uh, and parents. So thank you. Absolutely. I would echo the same thing. I know Katrina I was watching yours going, oh, I could do that. I could do that. So um, just thanks to Wakelet. This is such an awesome community. I'm so honored to be part of it. Um, if you're not part of the Wakelet community and you're out there, sign up, sign up, get a Wakelet account, figure out how to use it that best meets your needs. Um, that's what I always tell people. Like you can use Wakelet in so many different ways. Use it the way that works best for you. It doesn't have to be the way Katrina used it or the way I used it, or even the way it was designed maybe to be used, but find Find those great ways that, that meet the needs of your school. And, and I guarantee you'll be able to find it somewhere on Wakelet. Love that. Well, thank you both so much. And thank you all for joining us. Um, it's been super fun. So thank you all so much. Um, we'll leave the chat going for a little bit longer. But for now, we will jump off and um, say goodbye. But we hope to see you all soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye. Bye.